What's up everybody? This is the Off Nerd Show and we have another unboxing for the month and it is the Star Wars Smugglers Bounty with the theme of Bounty Hunter. So as you can see we got um, Boba Fett there on the front. Um, so hopefully I have some cool new um, Bounty Hunter pops to add to the collections because I think besides from Boba Fett um, we don't have any Bounty Hunters really because um, I've missed out on all the others and this is one of them being especially and it's um, Bosk on the pin for this month. Um, so he's the cool lizard um, guy. That's the bounty hunter as shown in um, episode 5. And then the patch um, has um, Boba Fett on it with the little Mandalorian patch or yeah, logo there on the bottom. So that's those are really cool. Um, not unexpected. So then we have our shirt for the month. And it is looks like another pop shirt but it's not the um, got the pop figures on it. But this is really cool because it looks like it has the various bounty hunters shown in um, Empire Strikes Back and stuff on there. So we have um, Zookas, Forlom, IG-88, Boba Fett, um, and Bosk. I think that's it. I can't tell. Yeah. So it's got the four in there, like little character drawing stuff. So it has their names, um, some of their weapons, and all that stuff. So that's really cool. And I really hope this shirt fits because I really want to wear it because this is just awesome. Having all the bounty hunters because, of course from Star Wars the bounty hunters are probably some of the coolest characters to come out of and stuff even though you don't hardly know anything about them anything just besides their name um, but it's still really cool um, so we'll go with the pops for this month and so the first off is the exclusive um, Boba Fett and so he's in a flying position and stuff so we'll take it out of here so this one is uh, more detailed and design and of course has the um, I guess so I'd be like jetpack uh, fire coming out of the back of him compared to the regular one where he's just standing there so that's really cool and it's I like how they redesigned this um, so it has the platform base but still has the Star Wars on the front because um, all the Star Wars ones have the little platform bases that they stand on so it's cool that they um, kept him, still put the Star Wars logo there on the front and everything but here's a closer view of him up close flying with his jetpack and everything so that's a really cool design and stuff they put a lot of detail into this um, which makes it really awesome stuff so it's kind of like looks like from when he's flying um, across the uh, Sarlacc pit and stuff to the um, skiff with Luke and stuff on it so that is really cool then we have another pop for this much with the box is really badly damaged so that really stinks I don't know how this happens because the inside of the box is perfectly normal, no damage or anything, but yet this box is completely destroyed. Um, so that's disappointing since the boxes are a big part of a collection and stuff and it's just kind of destroyed and everything. Um, but we'll just try to take him out anyways. And so this is um, IG-88, kind of looks like the Tin Man, and the Wizard of Oz. Um, but once again, another one of the um, bounty hunters and stuff. And it's just a robot um, guy that likes to kill people, I guess. And so that's really cool. It's weird, though, how thin he is, though, compared to other pops and stuff. Just um, It's not part of their normal pop design and stuff, but that's um, really cool with the new stuff they're doing um, now uh, nowadays and stuff. Um, but before, I guess we'll use this box since the other one's all damaged. But I did notice on the back of the boxes here, there is some um, things I would like to... Um, show off for all the pop collectors out there there are new pops coming out as you can see so they have um sorry can't see this row right here kind of this row and then the AT, AT drive sorry um they're part of the Walgreens ex um, exclusive set that is now available and we should be getting those any day now but then they have the bottom ones here and it's got um four loam on it um so the other bounty hunter that was on the shirt stuff then there's the Royal Guard and then some other various um, Lukes and stuff, like a handless Luke and everything. So those are some cool new pops that got to be out um, or on the lookout for and stuff. Super excited about those um, to add to the collection stuff. So that's going to be it for the Smugglers Bounty this month. I'd say that was probably their best box they've had so far. Because the problem with Smugglers Bounty been so far is um, they've not really had big outstanding pops. And then they've uh, made a lot of remakes, just different molds, kind of like um, the Boba Fett but yet he's in such a different awesome design and then the base and everything that makes it so cool and so this has made it awesome so you get two ba uh, bounty hunters and the awesome shirt and everything 
So that was just overall, like I said, probably their best box they've done so far. So hopefully they can keep up with this. And I do know that the, let's see, this is May, so the July box, which will be the next one, is Java's Palace. So that's going to be awesome, um, me being a huge fan of everything related to Java and stuff. So hopefully we get some new um, pop figures um, related to, um, to him and stuff. And so that will be awesome to look out for. Um, so that's going to be it for this month. Be sure to um, leave comments if you have anything to say about the new pops or our damage box. Um, like the video, subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time.